Do I love Halloween? Yes. Hey guys, it's Lucy Fink and it is almost Halloween. <laughs> Welcome to our channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe now. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. As you probably saw from my two weeks of previous Halloween videos, I get really excited about this holiday because it's fall, it's fun, and it is fashionable. This is actually something I've never done before. Making slime. I am not a slime expert. I am not a Slexpert, but I have done a lot of research about how to make slime and I do think I can do it quite well. So because it's Halloween, I wanted to go with a bit of a pumpkin theme. I think pumpkins are absolutely beautiful in color, shape, girth. We're not gonna put that in the video. <laughs> I've watched a ton of slime videos on YouTube and I'm convinced that they are some of the world's best ASMR. For anyone who doesn't know what ASMR is, it stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. I made an entire video about ASMR. It's definitely relaxing. <laughs> but one thing I didn't do in the video was squish some slime. So this Halloween, we're making pumpkin guts slime. And I hope you're excited because I'm excited. I started out with two four ounce bottles of white school glue. Non-toxic is key, because if it's slime, a kid might touch it. Don't poison your kids. I decided to use white school glue for this recipe, even though the version that I was following online calls for clear school glue. I think that you can go either route. They produce the same results from a textural standpoint, but from a visual standpoint, the clear glue actually gives it more of a transparent look, and it turns the color of the slime a bit more glossy and shiny, whereas if you decide to go the white glue route, which I went, it actually makes the color of the slime come out a bit more matte. And then I mixed in four ounces ounces of liquid starch. What is this stuff? It is a mixture of water and cornstarch, but it might have some oils in it and or fragrances, so don't eat it. And then I took a little bottle of orange food coloring and I dropped in three drops. I picked up a fork and I started mixing it around and to be honest, it wasn't really turning into the slime that I wanted to see. It was very wet very liquidy, very stringy, and eventually I decided, this is it, Lucy, it's time to roll up those sleeves and just go in there. And now you're gonna wanna turn your volume up because I'm just gonna let you hear what it sounded like. Now it's time for the pumpkin guts. I bought a little tiny personal pumpkin at the grocery store and I cut the top off and pulled it right off. There were some strings and some dangly things from it, so I took a knife and I leveled it off, and then I put that little bit of guts along with the rest of the guts from the inside of the pumpkin into a separate bowl. And then you'll have a beautiful bowl of pumpkin interior. Take that pumpkin interior, and now it's time for a super de duper pumpkin seed cleaning hack. Take water and pour it right on top of that entire gut mixture. Once you dive your hands into that bowl that's filled with everything, you'll see that the water really helps the seeds slip right away from the rest of the guts. Now it was time for the mass integration of the seeds and the slime living in harmony. Harmonious seed slime. It took a little while for this process to happen successfully, but if you put the seeds on it and you kind of mush them around for a little bit and then let it sit for maybe five to 10 minutes, you'll see that the seeds will just naturally sink right into the slime. I played around with it a little bit. I squished it, I stretched it. I even put it back onto the pumpkin and it just completely oozed inside of there. It was at this stage when I decided that I wanted to take this entire slime situation to the next level. <laughs> I love carving pumpkins. This is where things got fun. I took a Sharpie and I outlined two triangles for the eyes and then a very jagged mouth and then I just took a really sharp serrated knife and I went right in there. And then to make it even more defined, once all the cutting was done, I took the Sharpie back to the pumpkin and I outlined the eyes and the mouth. I thought this was really cool because my plan was to put the slime right into the belly of the pumpkin and then push it out of the mouth, almost like the pumpkin is vomiting its own guts. Ew, but cool. 
If I got an A in the pumpkin gut slime department, I got a D in the glow in the dark edible slime department. Here's what I did. I crushed up two small vitamin B2 tablets, mixed it with water, and then I blended it together. I poured that mixture into a tea bag and I used that as a filter. Six teaspoons of lemon flavor and three and a half teaspoons of soluble fiber. People online call this slime edible slime because there's really nothing in it that's not okay to eat. But that said, I did taste it myself and I wouldn't put it on the list of restaurant menu items that I would order. Mm. It tastes like emergency. I must have transported it back and forth from the microwave to the mixing table to the microwave seven or eight times and I swear it just never congealed. No luck yet. To the naked eye, my microwave looked very clean, but I knew that this glowing yellow liquid was probably geysering up in there when I wasn't looking, so I shined my black light on the rest of my microwave, and man, was I right. It was a real mess in there. But it's a liquid, not a slime. I hope you liked our slime video. Comment below if you have any other slime recipes that you want to share with the class here, but make sure it's reliable. Because if it's not, we will hunt you down. JK, we probably won't be able to find you. The internet's a wild place. But we'll try. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching our slime video. Click here to watch another video on Refinery, right here to subscribe to us on YouTube, and here for my personal YouTube channel. See you later.